Today on Free Field Training, we're looking at Safe Life Defense's all new Hyperline Hyper Concealable Armor. The Hyper Concealable Carrier and their most concealable Hyperline Armor allows it to be less than a quarter inch thick total and lighter than any other armor on the market. This stuff is super comfortable, super concealable, even if you have a glorious body shape like mine. And it also meets all of the NIJ standards for 3A, including back face deformation. There's gonna be a whole bunch of documentation up on their website, I scroll some of it in here, so you can see the back face deformation standards that this armor meets, even though it's so thin and so light. Now they achieve this by using products from DuPont and Honeywell, specifically Dyneema and Core Matrix material. This things combined together allows you to legitimately make an armor vest that is concealable and still meets these NHA level 3A standards, which is really amazing. Now, I'm not the best underwear model in the world, but I put on my finest athleisure gear and went in the backyard to shoot some video. This is what I look like wearing standard concealable armor, a 3A vest, soft armor vest, out in my yard, kind of harsh light. It's gonna be easy to see everything in here and how things poke out. Uh, then with the Hyperline on, you can see it's a lot less bulky. Now, to show you how to conceal this, the best results that I had concealing it was with a compression shirt, the armor over the top, and then a cheap cotton polo shirt from Kohl's that was one size larger than normal. Normally I wear a men's size large, I got a men's size extra large, threw it over the top, and if I didn't tuck the polo shirt in at the bottom, it really did a good job of concealing the armor. A more realistic test that I want to give you guys, though, is how concealable is this under a uniform shirt that has been sized to you as a person and not you as a person wearing body armor. Again, I used a uniform shirt that's a size large, that's the normal size that I wear when I'm at work because I use ex an external vest carrier when I'm at work. And I put normal soft armor, a level 3A vest on, and the uniform carrier so you can see what it looks like when I'm wearing soft body armor at work underneath a normal uniform shirt. And then I put it on with Hyperline. You can see the significant reduction in bulkiness, even though these are cut exactly the same in the exact same armor size. Now, speaking of realistic testing, one thing most people are gonna be most concerned about is multiple shots from close range with their duty pistol because that is a significant threat for people that are carrying professionally at work and wearing body armor. So for this test, we are going to do an entire mag from my duty pistol into the armor, all at close range on a rubber dummy. If you wanna see how it does with 40 and 45 and 44 mag and all of that stuff, you can check out their testing standards and I will put a link to all of that down below so that you can check it out yourself, see what it stops, what types of rounds were used, and the back face deformation standards. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to mag dump out of my duty pistol. I'm gonna put uh, about 17 rounds into it and then we're gonna take a look at what we have. got some breakage at the back of the carrier, but I've got no holes where it came through here. Let's put this open and get a good look. There you go. No holes. Get this out and get a good look at the material. So this is just a weather shield on the armor. There you go. And you can see we've got a little bit of indentation here, but there's no hole coming through the back of this armor. Must have had several shots there all at one spot. All right, let's pull this out. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it, this is a middle layer here. And then this is your layers of armor. Oh, here are your first couple layers. 
So there's a round that came out. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of them here. See them all mushroomed up inside. That's all in the first two, three layers of the armor there. Let's see if we can get these. Here's one. out of here for you. There's all our rounds. And then you can see the back of that first set of layers. Nothing going through. This is, the first few is uh, it's Dyneema. And you've got whatever this material is, this felt-like material in here. No holes through any of that. Oh, that's a leaf. No. No holes through any of that. And then your backing material, you can see there's no holes through that. No holes through that. So we've got zero penetrations on this test. That's just uh, dumping a whole mag of my duty ammo into it. And that's what it looks like and how much it stops. It didn't even get halfway through the vest. Uh, if you're interested in this armor, you can check out the links and coupon codes down below and save yourself a little bit of money. Uh, otherwise, till next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other. Hey, thanks for watching Free Field Training on YouTube. And while you're here, why don't you check out some of these other goofy videos that I've made. Or you could subscribe or maybe go over to Patreon and see how you get your name put on the videos like these fine folks over here. All the links are, of course, down in the description. We'll see you guys next time.